From stones filled with ancient texts to whole cities being found buried beneath our feet, archaeology has been the source of many great discoveries over the years. I'm Bob from World 5 List, and I'm going to take you through 10 of the most unbelievable archaeological discoveries ever made. Number 10. The Library of Ashurbanipal now, if you know even the tiniest bit of history in regards to archaeology, you know about the Rosetta Stone, the tablet that helped to translate Egyptian hieroglyphs within the pyramids. However, you may also be surprised that another tablet, or should I say set of tablets, has also been unearthed. In 1850, archaeologists in Iraq found clay tablets containing over 30,000 pieces of writing. Once translated, the text revealed itself to be the ancient kingdom of Assyria. These texts have been praised for revealing much about the people of Assyria, as well as the other cultures from the time period of about 668 BC to 630 BC. Even more impressive is that these tablets are actually where the story of the Epic of Gilgamesh came from. The tablets have been preserved since being found, and some are even being shown off at the British Museum. Number 9. The Terracotta Army Each culture has their own unique way of burying their dead, but few may top what China did for the first emperor. Now, when the historic emperor passed away, the people decided to protect him in the afterlife by building a terracotta army and surrounding him with them. Now, just imagine excavating the site, finding hundreds of these statues. How do you think that you would have reacted? The statues are a fascinating look at how the earliest people of the Chinese nation respected their emperor and the links that they would go to to keep him safe in whatever lies next. Now, if your brain is saying, yeah, yeah, I've seen this before, you might have, for this army was the plot point in the film The Mummy, Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. Granted, they did take a few liberties with how the terracotta army was actually made and what they could actually do, but at least they tried to be accurate to history, right? Number 8. The City of Troy Now, history isn't just where you find out about ancient kingdoms and people. It's where you learn about what they did and how they ended up where they are. Now, what's more, you even learn about the stories that they would tell, which is how we got such great things as the Iliad. Now, one of the greatest stories ever told in that epic was about the Trojan War. This war is said to have happened, or at least in some form. But the problem is that despite the book clearly stating that the war took place at Troy, nobody can actually agree about where Troy is. That hasn't stopped people from making claims, though. For example, in the 1800s, an archaeologist by the name of Heinrich Schleiman claimed to have found the one true Troy. For when he went to dig up some clues in an area in Turkey, he believed that he had found artifacts belonging to the ruler of Troy during the Trojan War. Could it be real? Is it a hoax? Well, we can say it's definitely not because others have gone to the site and also helped to dig up more clues, including the fact that the city that was found there is thousands of years old. They also found that there had been at least 13 different cities put on that particular plot of land, and the new ones were built right upon the old. Number 7. The Lost Temple of Artemis now, speaking of the Greeks, their culture has been a major part of the shaping world, and they were the ones that helped bring democracy. They brought the Olympics and so much more. They're also the claimers of one of the seven wonders of the world in the Temple of Artemis. However, you may be surprised to know how many temples were actually made, and one of them took a while to find. In 2017, a group of archaeologists found a lost temple dedicated to the Greek goddess of the moon and the hunt. But why did it take so long? Well, the historical texts that they were following were apparently incorrect. The text stated that the temple was a short distance away from the city of Eritrea, when in fact it was actually miles away. So how did they find it? 
Well, they found a church that had the remnants of an old Greek stone in it, clearly taken from another building. Using this as a starting point, they decided to go to Amarinthos, which was a city that had a close connection to Artemis. And sure enough, after some excavation, they found that the inner parts of the temple were there, complete with the text speaking about the goddess. Number 6. The Hunley now, sometimes archaeology can raise more questions than the answers that it provides. A good example of this is the submarine known as the Hunley. This submarine actually is a big part of history, and it's the first recorded submarine that ever won a battle in 1864. That's right, it was used during the Civil War by the Confederate Army. However, the same day as their victory, the submarine would sink. Fast forward 130 years later, and it would be discovered. But that's where the mystery begins. But why? Well, the entire crew of the submarine were found dead at their posts, and there were no signs of any kind of damage to the ship from the battle. So, what killed the crew? Well, ironically, it appears to have been a lack of knowledge about explosives. For scientists recently revealed that the ship was given a single missile that wasn't able to be fired at enemy ships, but rather rammed into them. So when the explosion did happen, it did sink its foe, but the pressure wave from the explosion also killed all of the crew inside the Hunley. Number 5. The Female Viking but before we move on to that, be sure that you're subscribed to my channel so that I can bring you more awesome videos like this one in the future. Now, Vikings were a whole lot of things. Conquerors, explorers, masters of seafaring, and more. And despite television shows saying otherwise, most people believe that Vikings were only male warriors and male warriors alone. However, in 2017, a twist on the tale would be discovered. It turns out that around 1880, on Bjorko Island, a plot of land was found to have 1,000 graves featuring Viking warriors. And within the graves, a very special one was put on a raised piece of earth. Once excavated, the archaeologists found that the Viking within the grave wasn't just a warrior, but was also a strategist and likely made major military decisions. The trick here, however, is that the skeleton of that particular warrior was a female, and they based that on certain bone structures. But at the time, they just couldn't prove it. Now, fast forward to last year, and some remnants of DNA were actually found on the bones of the skeleton, proving that it was female. This changes a lot of things, not the least of which is that females in that race could have high-ranking positions in the Viking army and likely were treated as equals, given great respect. Even more so, it could also mean that within those other graves at the site could be more female Vikings. Number 4. Pompeii History can be a really wondrous thing, and it can also be a warning sign as to what may happen to you. Tragedies are littered throughout history, and one of the biggest ones is Pompeii. Pompeii was located near a massive volcano, and one day that volcano, known as Mount Vesuvius, erupted and wiped out the entire town along with some others. The eruption was so powerful, in fact, that the entire city was buried in ash and stone, and it wasn't excavated until the 16th century. And even then, it wasn't furthered until the 18th century. Now unearthed, many go to see exactly what happened to the town and its people, and the tale of Pompeii is a key part of history for both good and terrible reasons. Number 3. The Dead Sea Scrolls Religion is a major part of the world, and most religions have some kind of book or a set of texts that guide them on what their deities or deity were like and the philosophies on life and other things. For Christians, the Bible is the key, and it is in fact the most purchased book in the entire world. However, one of the most important archaeological finds was when an ancient copy of some of the chapters of the Hebrew Bible were found, and thus came the Dead Sea Scrolls. Ironically, for those who know the stories of the Bible, the Dead Sea Scrolls were found by a couple of shepherd boys. While seven scrolls were found at first, searches in the surrounding areas brought forth even more 
to the point that over 900 scrolls had been found, and these scrolls contained several books from the Bible, including the first book, Genesis, along with others like copies of Isaiah. The scrolls have been shown all over the world, but many of them now reside within their homeland of Israel. Number 2. Machu Picchu now, sometimes the best archaeological finds aren't the ones that you simply dig up, but rather you just stumble upon. After all, if you don't know where to look for something, it may just go unnoticed for hundreds of years. And if you don't believe me, just look at Machu Picchu. This complex was made by the Incas and can be found on a mountainside in Peru, which explains why a whole lot of people never found it, including some conquering armies like the Conquistadors. It's actually rather impressive given that the site is 126 square miles in area, and that's really, really big. Yet it wasn't rediscovered until 1911. As big as it is though, and as much as it's been studied over the years, it's still kind of unclear as to what it was actually used for. Some feel that it was home of an Incan ruler, but no one is really for sure. Number 1. King Tut's Tomb King Tutankhamun was crowned as Pharaoh of Egypt when he was only 9 years old, sadly dying just about 9 or 10 years later. His death would hit his people hard, but it also created a wonder and mystery about the tomb that he was placed in because, though it was lavish, it wasn't exactly complete when he was put into it. Anyway, in the year 1922, archaeologists would find the tomb and were amazed by all of the treasures that were inside. There were tributes to the pharaoh, animal sculptures carved out of gold, and a whole lot more. In order to try and protect the history and the relics, the team who found it claimed that anyone who dared touch the gold and take it from the tomb would suffer a terrible curse. Some people have actually died after going inside, so it's led many to feel that the curse is actually real. Thanks for watching. What did you think about some of these discoveries, and were you surprised by the history behind them? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you next time on World 5.